Sweetie, is it time for school? Yes, I think so. Sweetie, you need to ask, what time is it, Mr. Wolf? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 8 a.m. It's time for school. Mmm, lunchtime. Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 12 p.m. It's time for everybody to eat lunch. Except Timmy. It's time for Timmy to be my lunch. No, oh, Mr. Wolf, please! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for me to eat you. Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. Hurry! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for me to eat you. Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. Hurry! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for everyone to go home. It's time to go home. I'll see you tomorrow, bestie. Stay safe. Me too. Mom, I'm home. I'm so hungry. Mom, is it time for dinner? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 5 p.m. It's time for me to have my dinner. <laughs> Mom! Sissy, where's Mommy? It's time for dinner. She's just... Sleepy. Why is there a timer above my head? Sissy, hurry. You need to ask. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Ask what? Why is there a timer above my head? Sissy, hurry. You need to ask. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Ask what? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? What time is it, Mr. Who? Mr. Wolf! Mr. Wolf! Uh-oh. Looks like little Sissy ran out of time. It's time to be my no. meal. <laughs> Go away. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 9 a.m. It's time for school. You're late. I don't care. I'm not going. My mom and sister are gone. What? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 9 a.m. It's time for you to go to school. I told you I'm not going. Blackheart, Redheart, Blackheart, Redheart, Blackheart, Redheart. Oh, honey, you got your hearts. Yay! Now you must choose one, but whatever you do, don't choose the... I want the black heart. It reminds me of death. No! You made a big mistake. The black heart means if someone falls in love with you, their heart will die. But the red heart means if someone falls in love with you, their heart will continue beating. Now you can never find love. Because if someone falls in love with you, they'll die. Timmy, I'm going to be the princess, you be the prince, and we're going to get married. We're getting married? <laughs> it's just for pretend. <laughs> Timmy! Timmy? No, what happened to Timmy? He's sleeping, I think. No, he's not sleeping. He must have fell in love with you. Hey, my name's Jason. I just moved here. I could really use a friend. I'm Brianna. Oh, no. You have a black heart! Oh no! You have a black heart! So? Why does it matter? You said you just wanted a friend. Nothing bad will happen to you as long as you don't fall in love with me. Sorry, but I'm not gonna risk it. Here's your test back, Brianna. Thanks, Mr. Stevens. Look at your grade. Yes! I got another A! Your grades have been phenomenal recently. Keep up the good work. What happened to Mr. Stevens? Mr. Stevens? He must have fell in love with Brianna. Oh, who's gonna grade the homework? She shouldn't be allowed in the school. You guys think I wanna live this way? It's not my fault. Hey girl, how are you doing? I'm so glad you're friends with me, Sophie, because no one else will be. Take it as a compliment. Everyone's scared they'll fall in love with you. I'm going to be alone forever. I have an idea. You could hide it. How? Here, cover it with this red heart and tell everyone that you got your heart changed from black to red. No one will ever find out. Red Rover, Red Rover, we call Brianna over. Mommy, there's little girls calling me. You need to find them. They'll be holding hands and you need to break through or they'll take you. <laughs> <laughs> Come join us, Brianna. You're almost out of time.
This morning, little girls called me to play Red Rover. My mommy says it's not real. It's just a myth. It's a fake story. You're lying. No, it's not. I saw them. I had to break through their hands. Stop lying. Red Rover, Red Rover, we call Ellie over. Who's there? Who's calling me? Ellie, do you hear them? The little girls? You need to find them and break through or they'll take you. I don't believe you. Hurry up. You only have 20 seconds. No, no, it's not real. Ellie, hurry up. Do you hear them, the little girls? You need to find them and break through or they'll take you. I don't believe you. Hurry up. You only have 20 seconds. No, no, it's not real. Ellie, hurry up. Come join us, Ellie. Ah! <laughs> Ellie. You survived. I know, I'm so lucky. So it is real, the game of Red Rover? Yes, it is, I saw them, the little girls. I told you guys it was real. You didn't believe me. Red Rover, Red Rover. We call Katie over. Don't play Red Rover, the little girls might hear you and call you over. We are the little girls. So that means they, they, they took us, and you're going to be next. No, no, please, tell me you're joking. <laughs> mm, I'm in love with Timmy. Here, do the flower test. Yummy! No, don't eat it. To know if Timmy really loves you, you must do the flower test. Flower test? You must rip off each individual petal saying he loves me, he loves me not. If the final petal lands on he loves you, then he loves you. If the last petal lands on he does not, then he doesn't. He loves me? He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. Sweetie, what's wrong? Timmy doesn't love me. Why didn't Daddy come to pick me up at school too? He went to pick up milk. He's never coming back. Hello, daughter. Dad? I'm sorry I left. I want to be in your life again. Ten years later and you want to be back in my life? Only if the flower says you really love me. Hello, daughter. Dad? I'm sorry I left. I want to be in your life again. Ten years later and you want to be back in my life? Only if the flower says you really love me. He loves me? He loves me not. He loves me? He loves me not. You don't love me, Dad. Of course I love you. You're my daughter. Why'd you come back? Look, I need some money. I just need you to ask your mother. Not gonna happen. Why don't you go pick up milk like you said you were going to 10 years ago? Hey baby, are you okay? I love you. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. I love you too. I now pronounce you husband and- Wait, I need you to do the flower test. Right now? I now pronounce you husband and- Wait, I need you to do the flower test. Right now? Yes, I have to be sure. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. You don't love me. Why would you agree to marry me if you don't love me? I thought I did, but I wasn't sure. No, you knew. Because if you really love me, you wouldn't even have to think about it. Truthfully, there's someone else. <gasps> I'm sorry. Well, that was embarrassing. I love you, Timmy. Brianna, I love you too. I've loved you since I was six years old. What? But I did the flower test and you didn't love me back. It must have been wrong. Try it again. The flower test doesn't lie. Please, just one more time. He loves me. He loves me not. Did you receive any powers yet? No. Everyone's already received their powers but me. I guess I don't get any. No, I missed the bus. Hey, want to fly to school with me? For sure, I'll race you. We'd invite you, Brianna, but you have no powers. Whatever, I like walking anyways. You're a powerless freak. Nobody likes you. Hey, stop it. I never said anything. I know you're using your telepathic powers to bully me. How can a powerless loser like her even show her face at this school? I know, she shouldn't even exist. I can't take this anymore. Mom, I'm leaving the city. I'm the only person without a power. I don't belong here. I think that's best. Mom, why did you call me? You need to come back right away. Since you left, everyone's lost their powers. 
When are you coming back? Everyone's so worried about their powers. Mom, I'm not coming back. Goodbye. Hello, miss. Mr. President? Come back with me right away. You're an important asset to the city. I won't. Everyone in that city treated me so badly because they thought I was powerless. Well, I can assure you that this time, it won't be the case. Brianna, you're back. Oh my gosh, I missed you so much. Wow, your hair looks so nice today. Brianna, welcome. We're so grateful you're back. Yo, Brianna, I never told you this before, but I have a massive crush on you. Want to date? Girly, he's so cute. You guys should totally date. All of you guys are fake. You guys are only being nice to me because you want to keep your powers. <gasps> 24 hours? It's the first time it hasn't been zero. Look at that loser over there. She can never hear anything. Shh, she's looking over. Maybe she can hear. There's no way. She's never been able to hear her entire life. Hey, Brianna, your hair looks super ugly today. <laughs> it's so funny because, like, she can't even hear it. Leave her alone. Don't you have better things to do with your lives? They're such jerks. I'm sorry. Here. I wrote you a note since I know you can't hear me. Let's talk through these now, okay? Here. I have another note. You look so beautiful today. I really wish we could talk to each other. Dude, you are such a loser for hanging out with her. I don't think he's a loser. Wait, you can- Oh, please don't be zero. 24 hours again? That's the second time in a row. Hey, babe. Babe. Oh, no. You can't hear today? Here. I'll write you notes so we can still communicate, just like you did for me. OMG, bro, Blake has no hours today. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> hey, shut up. In class, that is why I believe the Earth is flat. Now pay attention, this might be on the test tomorrow. You're lucky you can't hear anything. Mrs. Smith won't stop talking. <laughs> Look what you did, Brianna. Since you started dating Blake, he hasn't been able to hear anything. She must have cursed him. Actually, I can hear just fine. You can hear today? <laughs> you played me. Let's play a game. Selected. Why would you do that? One of us is going to die now. Yes, but one of us is going to get money. What game are we playing? A game of odds. Heads or tails? Tails. All right, I choose heads then. No, it's tails. Uh, a redo? Just the granola bar? Yes. How much? Let's play a game. Selected. What game? Go fish. The ten of hearts? Go fish. <sighs> Joker. What? How did you know? You're a cheater! Um, I'm home. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. One of us is going to die now. What game? What? You need to choose a game. You need to choose one you're good at. So that you can live. No, I don't want you to die. Sissy, just choose a game. Okay, how about we draw toothpicks? Whoever chooses the shortest stick loses. This is a game of luck. You're supposed to choose a game you're good at. I don't know what game I'm good at. You choose first. I got the short stick. Wait. Let's play a game. I want to make a deal with you. If I win the game, you spare my little sister. But if I lose, you kill us both and you get double the prize money. Deal. What game are we playing? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. scissors. Getting today. It's population control day. Thou mustn't speak unless in poem. Woe is me. Hey, Brianna, how are you today? Timmy, thou mustn't speak unless in poem. Bro, no one told me. Nay, Timmy. There thee lie, as dead as a doornail. My love. Hey, babe. Thou mustn't speak unless in poem. Oh, uh, art thou, thou, babe? My love, my life, I wanted to be thy wife. 
The sun is shining, the day is new. Bestie, I must ask, how are you? Thy lover breathed his last breath. Oh no, are you okay? Thou mustn't speak unless in poem.